All right, hello, my favorite foodie listeners. We are back. Again, you are listening to the Dishing with Donna show. I'm so excited because right now we are continuing hanging out with Ted Allen, the one and only from Food Network. If you don't know who he is, then you've probably been living under a rock. He is the host of CHOP. He was the host of Food Detectives, and then you go way back, which we just talked about a second ago, and he was actually the food and wine expert on Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, Ted. Thanks for hanging out with us still. Hey, thanks, Donna. Great to be back. And you're in person, which we talked about a little bit, because the other two times you've just been calling in. Yeah, it's so much, it's nicer just to be able to really actually hang out. Isn't it? And then, doesn't all these cameras in the studio want to be a little weird? I know, I thought this was radio. (laughs) (laughs) I know, well, we're going to, you know. Where's my makeup? This is all going online. All going online. Oh, Oh, which, by the way, you can go check out at my blog at the moment. It's www.dishingwithdonnashow.blogspot. Dot com. All right, so Ted, we talked all about Taste of Atlanta. Now let's talk about you. Let's talk about what really goes on behind the scenes with all these shows. And it's fascinating. It, how it's is fascinating. it fascinating? Like, give us a little sneak peek. I'm a Taurus. My favorite color is blue. <laughs> you know, actually, people all the time are asking me, like, what's your favorite new restaurant in New York? And I never have the answer because we just stay home and cook with our friends. We don't go anywhere. We're really not that fascinating. Oh, no, that's so much fun, right? Um, You know what? You, because you do all these shows and um, you are who you are, you get asked to come on other shows to be a guest judge or Mm -hmm. a guest host. And you've done that with Top Chef. You've done that with Iron Chef. You've done that with the Next Food Network star. Yep. Right? Yep. So, which was the episode on the next Food Network Star that you went on? Because our show has been covering that um, in great detail. And we constantly have Herb Mesa on the show, right now. who just oddly <laughs> happens to be here in the studio. I mean, the last time I saw this man, Herb, he was serving me some noodles. Not very good noodles. <laughs> It's uh, not what they said in the validation. <laughs> well, it's funny because Herb wanted to come in the studio today because I told him that you were going to be here. Yes. He's like, I you know, got yeah. to hang out with him at Frank Sinatra's house. I would love to come in and say hi to him. Well, I'm so yeah. glad you did because it, uh, it it's really fun to be a guest judge on any of these shows. I love talking about food and thinking about who, which chef did the best job with the, under these incredibly hard conditions that you were facing. Um, but then I, I do one episode of Food Network Star, and I never see any of these people gone. again. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. I You're out of here. And, and I don't know see who, you again. I don't know who wins. I don't know who loses. I don't know what's going on. I'm, so I pretty much came to stop you. Oh, well, uh, after I, I was like, he's coming, I'm going to stop Yeah, I didn't really have studio. a choice. And her was I'm like, coming. I'm coming to the studio. So. Well, I'm really glad you did. Uh, that was a, so. How is it to see each other again after all this time? It's, I mean, it's Herb kind of doesn't even he didn't even know to, know that I was there. I'm sure because you're freaking out. Basically. I know. I remember you were there. No, I remember everyone's face looking at me, but and presenting it was the Frank at me. Right. Yeah, we did an episode. Which we just talked about a couple weeks ago. But just for you guys, what was that like? For the both of you at Sinatra's house behind the I scenes. think we shared a moment. I oh. think. I mean, both being in a Frank Sinatra's house, it's like an amazing thing. It's. Like Everyone's been last. There. Yeah, everybody. I mean, I am not. Like, well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Almost everyone of importance. I mean, been there. Eva Gardner, Bing Crosby, right. Dean Martin, all these people. You know, Sammy the, Davis Jr. Sammy Davis Jr. The ghosts of these people are Kennedys. All, I mean, presidents. Uh, and a lot Kings, of Queens. and a lot of very good-looking young women. <laughs> right. We're in that pool right. at one time or another. Maybe so, the mob. So we. Uh, Maybe, ah. well, there is no such thing as the mob. But no. I thought that was a fantastic location for Next yeah, Food Network. So we did an episode of Next Food Network Star at Frank Sinatra's house in Palm Springs. That was where I got to be a guest judge, and I loved it. It was fun. Yeah. What's your favorite fun. part about being the judge? Um, honestly, I've ever since I was <clears throat> writing for magazines, and I did a little bit of restaurant criticism, and no one likes restaurant critics, and they, they shouldn't. No, they not, shouldn't. I know. You get to eat for free. But, well, you know what? Here's the thing. No one's going to feel bad for me, but I will say this. When you're a restaurant critic, not every restaurant you go to is good. That's true. Mm-hmm. And you have that, to... And you've you, got to still eat. And you don't get to leave after... You have to stay for dessert. Mm-hmm. But but still, I'm not looking for sympathy. I, I find it it's really, really interesting to have a group of chefs competing and to break down what it is that made their dish one dish better than the other. And it's different every single time. And on Chopped, the conditions are almost worse, I think, than Food Network Star. Oh, for sure. Because you, they only have 30 minutes and they they have no idea what these mystery ingredients are. It's like just a quick fire challenge just once, but that's the whole show. Yeah, and it's kind of like you're just, I, I don't know, Herb, I don't know how you would approach it, but to me, it almost think, you almost work off instinct. Yeah, you're... you're, you're working on pretty adrenaline it's like you don't know what to do you're like just wing it and whatever comes to mind you just throw it on the plate and 
sometimes so you're like a horse is blinded. Yeah, and sometimes some days you know you hit it. You know, it's a fifty-fifty chance you're going to get it right. Either you do it really, really well, or it comes out really badly. Yeah, so, and then you get to the end of the thirty minutes, and you realize, oh no, I forgot to put the goat brains in the dish. Right. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> and that was the secret ingredient. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, Ted, do you ever, when you do these guest judges, or even just on Chop, do you ever see star quality? I mean, this really star quality, does it ever come across? Yes. Besides me. Herbs, I know, right? You guys should see her face. made for television, come on. I agree. I have a face for radio, right? <laughs> no, I have a face for radio. You should, be, you should have my job. You should okay. have your own show. No, I no, should you should have, have my own show. I don't want... <laughs> well, that's the, the the thing about Next Food Network Star that's so interesting is that the the network is making a commitment from the beginning that the winner is going to have a TV show, mm -hmm. and that is a very it's completely different from Chopped or Top Chef where or Iron Chef where we are making our decisions entirely about the food. Mm -hmm. Who made the best plate of food? We're, we're not we're we're trying to ignore whether you're good looking or charismatic. Right, or, you got what? an attitude. Like, that doesn't right. matter. It's the Star, quality of the food. It's the whole package. Yeah, on Food Network Star, it's the whole package, and the person has to be charming and right. comfortable on the camera. Which is why Herb didn't win. Thank you. I was like, he's going to go there. <laughs> really? No, How do I woke know. up at five in the morning for this? There's know, a right? reason, Herb, that you were in the finale. Come on. Come on, come on. Yes. No, you're, you're made for this. Come on, look at the rest of the people that are on the show. I had to make it to the finale. <laughs> oh you know, Bob Tushman once told me, who also was you know, one of the Food Network executives and who was a, a judge on Food Network Star. And a told friend me, of the Dish and Madonna show. Absolutely. Bob told me once that he thinks, like, like... Point oh 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 one percent of the world should be on TV, mm -hmm. and uh, which doesn't really explain why I am. Uh, and, and he would say the same thing. But it's true. Finding people who can do this, mm -hmm. um, it's hard. It's hard. And so the, the contestants who come through Chopped, once in a while, we'll see somebody who, and, and say, "Wow, that person really has a spark." Really? Because TV shrinks. Do you get any type of yes. a say, or you know, any type of weight in going to the executives and saying, "Hey"? This person, you need to pay attention. Do no, they won't return that? my calls at all. <laughs> no. He's lucky to have his job. He's like, I'm happy to have my job. I could job. be fired at any minute. <laughs> That's I hilarious. Could be, you know, I walk down the street sometimes and I'll meet fans of the show and they, they, they point to me and say, You've been chopped. And I'm like, Please no. I have a mortgage. No chopping. In case you guys haven't watched Chopped, you should because that's what he says on the show. And that's your that's your thing. Instead of you're fired like Donald Trump, you're fired. Yours is the you've been chopped. And I have the same hairdresser as Donald Trump. <laughs> this is hundred percent fake. Next, do you? You're hilarious. Do you? No. Um, it's just early. <laughs> it is still punchy. early. Punchy. You think this is water I'm drinking, but really, <laughs> you've been going all night. <laughs> they just keep talking. <laughs> what is your favorite show that you like to watch on the Food Network, other than your own? Uh, probably the Barefoot Contessa. Really? I, I have a lot of the uh, other Food Network people that say the same thing. Why you, is that, you think? Uh, because I, Ina is charming and real and, uh, and, and well, to the extent you can be real when you have a, a house that nice in the Hamptons. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Right. She, uh, I like her. I like her husband. Um, I like the food that she makes. It's all, it's, it's luxurious, but mm -hmm. it's also fairly simple. Right. And that's really the way I like to cook. You know, great ingredients, not too many of them. Um, I also love that Ina, Ina has lots of gay friends. They're all very sort of fancy gay friends in the Hamptons. I love her storylines. She'll say stuff like, well, Jeffrey and Peter just got back from three weeks in Paris. <laughs> so I know their fridge is empty, so I made them a three-course meal with duck and chocolate mousse. I'm like, my friends stink. <laughs> I have no friends either. Person. No one's doing Where that. Oh, friends, boy, Ted friend. and Barry were in Paris, so I brought them a three-course dinner. No one does that. Nobody no did that for you. <laughs> it just sounds nice. Doesn't it? I got to talk to her. She called into the show one time. It oh, was about cool. a year and a half ago, and she was lovely. She was very pleasant and just very polite. Um, she didn't have any of those little one-liner things, but she was just really sweet. It was a good interview. Her, what do you like to watch on Food Network? I don't watch the Food Network. Oh, After come the on. show ended, I stopped watching. He no, really actually, I love watching uh, Iron Chef. Um, mm -hmm. It's like one of my favorite shows to watch. Would I you want to be on that? I would totally love to do so. Could you, could really? you do it? Oh, I would do so, it in a second. I would so do it in a second with a team of picked out individuals that is my team to go. Ted, how do we get on? I, I would so do You're that. You're a judge I'll over place, there. I'll place a call. Don't you think? I, I, no, they, no, they don't call. return your call. You know, have Bobby Clay <laughs> place that call for you. Uh, but I, don't you think, Herb? And I, we can ask Herb this. Uh, people, I don't think people understand. 
how hard it is to compete on these shows. It's it's the hardest thing you can ever imagine in your life to just get thrown, at, especially at when you're cooking. It's something that takes time. You have thought process, thought, thought uh, you experiment, you try things, things don't work, you try it over. You don't get that opportunity here. You just have to go with it and. You have a 50-50 chance that you either make a really great dish or something that's not so great. It's going to be hit or miss. Hit or miss. Because if, if, if it's not a hit, if it's not a hit, you're not going to win. And those of and when you're we're, when we're at home watching these shows, we're we're, 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 so we're all are, you know morning, Monday morning quarterbacking. Like, why did you put the mustard with the thing? Doing? What are you doing? Really? You should have done this. And and people, you coach the people as yeah, you watch. I do that TV. now. No, I still do that, I'm knowing what they're going through. I'm still going. Well, you should have done that. Why is he doing this? Because it's easy to sit back. And I would love to watch her view on um, on Iron Chef. So mm -hmm. Ted. You gotta I'll work on that. The phone call that they call you back with. <laughs> Here's the thing. The, the difference between Food Network and a lot of other networks is that everybody thinks they have a Food Network show in them. Uh -huh. Because we all cook and we all eat right. and we, you have right. to or you're not alive anymore. Right. And so they get pitched more shows that even than a regular network. Uh, so we all think we can do this. It's and not then, easy. It's not Well, because not only do you have to cook, some of the most intricate things that you know people can think of, but then you also have to have the personality, you also have to have the timing, you also have to have the look. I mean, it's an entire package, and it's intimidating when you have all those cameras staring right at you. I think that's the hardest part. Um, Dude, you didn't seem freaked out by the cameras. Um, that's because he loves you the seem camera. Like a ham. He I, loves I, the I think that's the part I struggled with the most was the camera. I really? Felt, yeah, I felt that was the hardest thing for me because it was just. Something about that red light. I don't know. You didn't see my camera no, challenges. It's funny Mine that you great. should. My finale might have come out great, uh, but I struggled a lot of times because when you have to, you know, you have ten seconds to say this, and you blow it. You don't get another chance. So it's not like I got an extra take like other people were able to do. Oh, and go, I think he's oh excuse me. I don't like that. Radio. I want to do that one more time. Um, I'm now live. We just happen to be recording at the moment. Right. But I do have the edit button. Uh, and I also have the off button, which I have to push because we are past our time. So, awesome. um, Herb, thanks again for oh, popping in here. <laughs> they, our listeners, they are already are loving him. And then, Ted, of course, thank you for coming back for the third time. Taste of Atlanta, uh, all weekend, Robert Mondavi Wine Tour. Is there anything else that you just want to throw out there? Anything coming up? Well, I just want to um, uh, encourage people to come to the Taste because it's, really, it's a really fun event. All these restaurants from all over Atlanta, um, and a great place to taste some wine. Try something new. Now I want to go get wine. It might be eight o'clock in the morning, but it's just talking about someplace. it makes you taste it, right? Wine for breakfast. <laughs> all right, all right, guys, don't go anywhere. Where there's still more to come. As soon as we come back after this quick commercial break, Ted, thanks again, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, Donna. Awesome.